How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. Um, got another video here for you. We're going to be working on the lid to the blast furnace. And I'd like to do a little shout out to uh, Frank uh, down in Texas for sending me uh, a really nice hose here for my gas uh, and some fittings. Uh, thanks Frank. I definitely will use these on my blast furnace. It's going to work out perfect for me. Uh, so thanks a lot for that Frank. I appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be working on this lid. We're going to cut us a circle out of here, probably weld a couple hooks on here, and we're going to get our concrete poured on the inside of this thing. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this lid might end up being about an inch and a half to two inches thick. I'm hoping that's enough, uh, because I want this to set down over top the bricks just a little bit on there so it holds it from sliding on and off. So this is what we're going to be working on. We'll go ahead and get this thing cleaned up. And get it down to some bare metal uh, so we could do some welding and some cutting on it. Um, <clears throat> some of the things I got planned for this, I do want to cut a hole in here uh, to allow us to put stuff in there plus a ventilation for ventilation. Uh, I'd like to put a couple hooks on here so I could reach in and grab this thing with a piece of metal instead of using, uh, you know, putting your hand over top of it or anything. I want to try to be able to take it off without getting my hand over this hole. Now, I'm going to grind this down real good, and then I'm going to take some of these screws, and I'm going to take the uh, rubber washers off of them. And these are just self-tappers. I might have to drill them. It's pretty thick steel. But anyhow, we're going to put some of these down in here, all the way around. Uh, and we're going to screw these little self-tappers down in there, and that's going to help hold my concrete inside there. That's the goal, anyhow. So, we're going to go ahead. I'll go ahead and get cleaning this... Uh, thing up. Now for the hole in the top, I got some of this old stove cement. I think this uh, size hole would work great in there. And this thing is tapered. So I may stick this down in there, keep this lip, turn it over, and this will be a tapered end so I'll be able to get this thing out of the inside of that concrete. So I'm just going to take this piece of cardboard and I know that that hole, this bottom is a little bit, a little bit smaller than the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out a little bit at a time. I figure if I just go right to the edge of the black, I might be able to get that to fit up on top of there. And then I'll lay it down on here and mark it out and then we'll go ahead and get the plasma cutter out and we'll cut it. So. This probably is going to be really close to the size hole we need. So I'm going to go ahead and get it cut out. Okay, I got it the size that I need it now. Just twist it on there a little bit, get a nice good circle. And then we're going to take it off of here. We're going to lay it down on top of here and we're just going to trace it out. Yeah, if we have to do a little bit of fouling or whatever to make sure this thing fits nice and snug, that's what we'll do. But uh, as far as it goes, it looks pretty good there so far. Now the only thing I'm going to do is just center that up on that hole. Yeah, the best that we can. Ain't going to be perfect. Then we'll draw our circle. Oh, looks good. So we'll go ahead and get the plasma cutter out and get this thing burnt out here. Okay, well, I'll get that cooled off a little bit, and then we'll try this piece down in there. And if I have to foul it out a little bit, that's what we'll do. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple pieces of this rebar. We're going to bend a couple loops so we can weld on the top of that thing. That way we can get our lid off without putting our hands over top of it.
I gotta tell you guys, this has got to be the best tool I've ever built. This forge is just awesome. I love it. It's crazy how nice it is when you want to heat up a piece of steel, bend a couple hooks. It only takes a couple minutes, you know. You just fire it up and do it. It's definitely going to be a great little tool for me. All right, I marked both these hooks, one on one side, one on the other side, about two inches from the very end. And we're going to weld these on both sides of that hole. Get them cut off now. Okay. <coughs> What I'm going to do with these hooks is I'm going to put one this way and then the other one on this side I'm going to put it this way straight across from each other as best we can. I think it'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and weld these on. Something like that. That way when you stick your rod in there, you can put it in like this, twist it, and I'll put a hook on the other end so we can pick the, the jug up or the lid off. That way we're not getting our hands over top of that. I'm going to go ahead and finish welding that up. What I'm doing now is I'm just putting these screws around this thing. That way uh, it'll give the concrete something to hold on to when we pour that full concrete. Uh, it may not look pretty, but we're, we're not really going for look. We're really going for, hopefully it works. Don't really care too much about the looks. We're going to put a few of these though in there. Quite a few probably. Okay, this is what we got so far for the lid. I got a bunch of screws in there. Uh, we got our handle where we can get this thing on and off. We'll probably work on that handle another day. <clears throat> but as you can see now, all them screws are sticking up through the bottom to help hold all that concrete in there. Uh, I think this might work pretty good. I actually got some small wire. Maybe I'll cut a piece of wire too and put in there. Let me get a piece of wire here. All right, I cut a piece of wire. Maybe we can put that down in there and push it down into them screws once I get the concrete laid in there. And then we'll put concrete over top of it and that way it'll kind of hold it all together in like one big piece. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned out a little bit, brush it out, get that concrete to stick in good. Get our piece down right here. Now, get it like that, and then we'll start pouring our concrete in there, and uh, we'll put our wire, and hopefully this thing's going to work for a nice lid. Now, I uh, have pretty much a full bucket of uh, this mortar, this fire. I got almost a whole jug of this left, so that's that uh, refractory mortar. So we're going to go ahead, I think this is going to be enough to do this uh, project. I have a little bit in that other jug over there. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Let's see how this works out for us. We don't want to go all the way up to the top because like I said, I want this to be able to set down on the brick. The fire brick in the uh, uh, furnace. All right, we're going to get all this mortar down in here, get it set up. I just found out we're going to have a power outage in about 10 minutes. So we're going to make this the end of the video. Now, those of you, uh, and I listen, I do listen to every comment you guys say. 
and I pay attention to them. Now you said something about putting heat in that uh, furnace that it may explode if I don't have all the moisture out of it. So I'm going to show you this thing, this uh, furnace right here. I got it over here setting by the wood burner. Now it's been setting up for about 10 to 11 days so far. No fire in it at all. And I'm the bottom is actually steel. I know it's soft because if I push on it, these brick have actually literally slid down inside here. They've sunk into that concrete a little bit and pushed up the middle a little bit. So it's got some cracks down in there. But I'm still just letting it dry on its own real slow. It's setting by the wood burner. Maybe eventually I'll put it on the wood burner and give it some time on there so it can dry. But uh, I'm going to sum this video up. For now, we're just I'm just basically going to go ahead, finish this out. I'm going to leave it down just a little bit on the side. So this lip right here will go on my um, furnace because those bricks stick up a little bit. And I'm almost positive I'm going to have enough concrete here to do this with. So... And like I said, we're going we're getting ready to have a power outage. It's going to be out for a few hours. So I'll have no juice, no electric in here and no lights or anything. So I got to get this done. I'm sure we'll get to see it on the next video. What I'm going to do now I'm going to smash my mesh down in here. Ooh. Get that mesh down in there nice and tight. Oh, oh my. Tighten back up in here. As you can see, I'm kind of pressed for time. But now we're going to just start going back over this thing. I'm going to leave us a little bit of... I'll probably make it a little thicker in the middle, but it'll be a little thinner around that outside edge. So... This is what we're doing. This is definitely going to be the nice, I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty nice lid. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully on the next one I can show you this guy all dried up. And uh, hopefully done. This has been a pretty long project for me because I'm waiting on this stuff to dry. I'm not really 100% on what I'm doing. I go by a lot, like I said, what you guys say. That helps me a lot. I just wish I wasn't going to be losing my electricity here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Hey, till next time.